grateful for the opportunity to be here to support Don. You know, not only is he a great leader, he, he's somebody that cares about everybody. You know, he's not here just opportunistic trying to climb the political ladder. He really cares about our country and about our citizens. He, like you here and I, is a, uh, is a veteran. A veteran who has served his country. A man who is, has integrity, honor, courage, commitment, dedication, honesty. And one of the important things that we've talked about in ensuring what we owe to our veterans and our military families is re-electing Don Bacon. And so Tommy is here, as I understand it, for, 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 two, for two reasons. Number one, to talk about the importance of the benefits that are provided for veterans and military families, and also the importance of re-electing Don Bacon. The Wing Commander Don Bacon highlighted this. We both flew on the RC-135, apparently, this, where it's a plane that has no parachutes. He's like, that's a very quick way to make sure your entire team sticks together when you're on a mission, when you have no way of bailing out. And that's the way that Don has led, not just for here in Nebraska, but in Washington, D.C. We have an opportunity this election to not only put Don Bacon with a gavel in his hand, leading on a defense committee, but to be able to turn the tide against the Pelosi-Biden agenda that has hurt working Iowans, working Nebraskans, farms across the Midwest, and really impacted the heartland in a harmful way over the last 18 months. Commander, there is no better leader who has been able to bring home the bacon, as they say, as Don has been able to do for this community here. At Offutt Air Force Base alone, the number of jobs, the amount of national security that's come, this is a man who delivers, not just for Nebraska, but for America. Let's get this man in the majority. So, you know, the veterans, uh, I want to thank you. First of all, let's talk about those who serve. It's, it's about 1% of our population defends the greatest country in the world. And we appreciate that 1% that stands up uh, and puts their lives on the line for the defense of our country. The veterans make up about 6% of our population. Let me tell you what I think we bring to the U.S. House of Representatives. One. We know the cost of war. And I think we need people in Congress that know the cost of war. And I know every veteran here, I believe, has probably known someone who gave their life to our country. Secondly, we know the cost of weakness. When we don't have a military that's prepared to deploy, if we're sending secondary equipment, we're not training people right, the, the person wearing the uniform pays that price. And when I came in in 2016, Zach, we had the record low readiness levels going back to 1977. Half the Navy aircraft couldn't fly. Only two combat brigades in the Army could deploy out of 58. That's how bad it was. Thirdly, I think we bring a knowledge base that's important to Congress. We know how to spell Pakistan and Afghanistan. But we bring, I think that's a, we need people to understand what NATO is. We need people to know what the triad is. We got people in Congress want to get rid of the ICBMs, right? There's 400 ICBMs. Russia has more than that. China's building 400 right now. I think veterans bring this to the table. We're Americans first. We're about solving problems. We, 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 yes, we have an ideology, we have this, but we, in the end, I want to deliver for our country. I want our country to remain the strongest country in the world, the most competitive country in the world, right? And we want to be the land of opportunity, the land of freedom. Veterans bring that to the table. We, we are willing to work with people and to get things done. And I think that that's a, something that we need more of in every facet of our republic. We've got to be focused on this November. We've got to provide a check and balance to a, a president who campaigned as a moderate. People thought they elected Joe Biden, but they got Bernie Sanders. Joe Biden was handed the keys to a Ferrari and he wrecked it pulling out of the driveway. The American people get to change direction this November. And what the RNC is doing is going to be very helpful. We've got to build the infrastructure for all Republicans to get elected. We've got to create the red wave. We've got to win at the top. We've got to win at the bottom. It's school boards. You know, thank you to all the veterans. Thank you for your service. Most of you aren't done serving yet. You're going to help us. You're going to help us get these great Americans elected. I just want to thank you for your sacrifice, your service. I want to tell you guys to have confidence that we are going to fire Nancy Pelosi once and for all. Let's go win this November. Thank you all for everything you do. God bless.